Hello again. It's been a while, I guess, unless you follow me on Instagram. I'm usually kind of active on there. I don't talk too much about what's going on in depth because it's Instagram, but I, I have to do what I have to do now because that's the only place that I have people, I guess, that pay attention to me. That I, I don't know. I don't know. You know how social media works. I don't have to sit here and explain it to anybody. But the main thing is um, another corporation, yet another, because this has happened to me before. I'm not, it's not, it's no semantics. It's not dramatized. It's none of that. It's literally none of that. It dead ass happened already. I've been discriminated against at a workplace. So. For it to happen again, I come to New York City and for it to happen again, especially at a coffee shop again, because that was also a coffee shop, crazy enough. Um, Target, it was Target, Starbucks. Um, if you know if, if you know me, you, you know about this whole situation because you've seen it and ideally you shared it and did your part as well, blah, blah, blah. It was handled, but I had to leave for it to be handled. I couldn't even be there. Essentially, I was told to deal with it when a coworker, an old white coworker, was saying that someone had a Jigaboo name. First of all, to use that term, right? It's 2020. At the time, it was 2020. You're using the term Jigaboo. That's not gonna fly. I'm black and I work here. I'm the only black employee back here, mind you. And it's always like that for me. It's always like that for me. Cause again, at this coffee shop that I'm being fucked over at. I am also the only black barista there. Yes, they have black baristas at other stores that's cute and dandy and fine and wonderful, but they're not at my store. And all the ones over there aren't nice anyway. Not to me. The ones that I met, you know, they always got an attitude, but that's neither here nor there. The main concern is the fact that it's coming from the top, essentially, because the, the, the coffee shop is called Gregory's. First of all, and I just realized this is technically upside down. But uh, basically, it's called Gregory's, and the guy that's like the owner at the moment is Gregory. I, I don't even know how that all happened. I don't know if the dad's Gregory. I don't know. But basically, the guy in the in the in in the freaking logo is his effigy, essentially cool right wonderful you you want a metal you're really not the best coffee shop first of all coffee's not great but that's just a personal personal thing that's not the point it's just i knew shit was gonna go south when i walked in to get my tips late mind you because they were supposed to be done on tuesday i walk in here on a wednesday thursday one of the two and that was only a month of me working there that was a month in and I wasn't even getting paid on time yeah I was getting my check on time blahzy blahzy blah but it that's still my money I still work for that money you said I was getting tips every Tuesday you know that I'm homeless you hired me knowing that I am homeless they did know that I didn't even have my IDs because our IDs got stolen when we got here our IDs a lot of shit a lot of our personal information was stolen when we got here so we got that job, surprisingly. I got that job, right? Fast forward a bit, shit started to get off. You know, the, the, my coworkers are mostly Spanish, Hispanic, blah, you know, right? Hispanic. They speak in Spanish to each other all the time. And I wouldn't normally be bothered. It's the fact that it's when it happens. It's like, you know when someone is talking about you, especially in another language, they do that, but then they also don't do their job. And they'll go behind me, almost as if I don't do mine to the T when I do, because that's the kind of person that I am. I've always been that kind of person. But the first time, okay, I walked in there to get my tips late. <laughs> um, Gregory was literally sitting there in the corner Mind you, didn't know I was an employee, none of that. I was just waiting there, waiting for the line to go down so I can get it. I'm standing on the wall. 
I have to move because I'm like, yo, who the hell is staring at me with this terrible energy? Like, I felt sick. Like, bro, what the fuck is going on? I look over and it's, it's, this, it's this bitch. It's Gregory. He's staring at me so, like, disgusted. Like, I'm not supposed to be in there. Little did he know I worked there. So he was bent as fuck when he learned that I did, right? It was from then on, shit just started to get pinpointed it was like it was all personal oh let's let's attack Tania let's do this to her let's do this to her and that's what they did that's what they continue to do they know that we're homeless and there's a hurricane here in New York City if you remember it it was um Ida happened literally not even a month ago <laughs> almost a month ago but not even a month ago okay like maybe two weeks ago at the most but we're homeless we are not in a shelter we're not willing to separate to go into two separate shelters we can't get our domestic uh, well, i won't say can't because i don't really know just yet i've been trying there this seems they said that the offices are closed for the you know domestic partnership and everything down here but then it's the fact that we don't have our ids so it's the fact we might not even be able to do that but i digress okay they knew that we were homeless there is a literal hurricane coming <laughs> a, a literal tropical storm life threatening life threatening like we had like alerts popping up on our phone all day and we're like what are we gonna do we were sleeping on a bench inside of like this outside eating thing like you know like on new york city they have these outside stalls where you can sit Literally and eat sleeping at a stall. we were sleeping at the stall on top of the fucking like uh you know, it's literally like a platform just there to put drinks on or something like that. We're literally laying on that. So imagine how skinny that is. I'm not skinny. So imagine how that was working for me. <laughs> for me personally, it, it, you know, it's just. And then actually being skinny, it hurts because now you're bony as fuck. And right, on ass. the hardwood and everything. But yeah. that was the situation. So we had to make a decision. And I'm just like, bro, I work at Gregory's. And we was already fighting that battle for days. We was like, no. We can't go in there. We said no so many times. We we literally wouldn't even go in there to get our stuff, which they told me, oh, you're not supposed to keep your stuff here anyway. It's a liability. My stuff's been there for and some... There literally, and shit was there before me. There's bins there for a reason, so we're not supposed to keep our shit here. People's names are written on those bins. Like, I can show you people's names are literally written on those bins. So, there's that. Okay. Said, I make them lose business. Right. When it's a proven fact that we but, tested but this. But I didn't even this. I didn't even get there yet okay, though, okay, babe. No, sorry, we literally so fucked up I know, that. I understand, but I do. Like, I bring nothing but money in. Kidding literally, me. there was that. So Gregory already didn't like me from then and then it started to trickle down. They're talking about me, they're moving shit around that I did. Oh well it the D D D something to suck a dick type shit, you know, like <laughs> talking just saying shit that didn't make any sense and to justify them moving what what I did because they're like oh well the, the law <laughs> or whatever something like that but that's neither here nor there they were doing that so I'm sorry I'm so jumpy it's just there's so many things to say and we have to leave this Airbnb we literally got an Airbnb for the night because they sat me down yesterday this is what this is this is the whole point of the video they sat me down yesterday <laughs> and um it was towards the end of my shift i worked from 8 a.m to no 7 30 to 1 pretty simple shift easy shift normally i work from 6 30 a.m to 5 30 normally or 6 normally all day i'm there all day so mind you i'm homeless i'm there all day you think you think you wouldn't have that idea to be like, hey, I'm not a disruptive gross person. I work here. I'm here all the time. I put in my work. I'm here seven days a week, damn near five days a week, six days a week, whatever it is. I'm here all the time and I put in the work. I can't sleep on the bench where people's asses are. I can't do that. Like, it's. Can't even charge the phones you're not you're trespassing or not she never said that where she's like you can't be in the store after business hours it was two of them they basically teamed up on me and were talking so loud to make sure everyone heard they're like oh we've heard it's trickled down from team members from um commissary workers that they may have seen someone ah, ah, ah. you know that you see someone and you know that we're homeless. So yesterday there was a it was raining. It was really bad raining. We got all of our shit soaked really. 
and thankfully we got paid earlier than we were expecting because it was earlier than we were expecting I, I wasn't expecting to get paid until like probably nine or something didn't know came in earlier we were already in the store so it was perfect timing we could get the shit and get an airbnb but we could only get it for the night like they wanted us to sleep in the rain they knew it was gonna rain she literally was talking about the rain while we were in there and then after as i'm getting ready to leave sits me down and is like oh by the way we know you've been staying here and you can't do that anymore also you can't leave your shit here also blah, 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 blah. also your boyfriend sitting in the corner while you're working is making us lose business cat that's what they said they that's literally sat there cat, and said that and he mind you he's not my boyfriend i never addressed him as my boyfriend so they disrespect me on that level as well he's my husband just because it's not on paper that is my husband okay you don't know what the fuck we've been through and what kind of connection we have so that in itself is disrespectful enough for me to spit in your face because i've i only address him as my husband so who the fuck do you think you are to change that and take that title from him nobody you know so it's just it's so it's it's a lot it's so much stuff it's, it's just the fact that i actually bring business to fuck in there i'll be sitting outside People would literally hmm, break a whole U-turn, and now it's deep as fuck in there. It was just it was silent as shit. I come on a block, now it's deep in there. It's three rush hours after rush hour after rush. They have 40 rushes in a day because of you. Stop it. Like, oh, I stop business? No, people come sit right next to me. And, be and people come in there and sit and don't buy shit, and we don't even have the authority to walk up to them and say shit to them. Unless they, especially if they have their vaccination ID. You know, so it's just it's all pointed and personal and they've been doing this recently since because I guess Gregory's like, oh, I don't want her working there. I don't I don't want any black people at that store or at least I don't want any black people that won't bend over for me at this store. Even though I haven't done anything out the way. I've only been by the book. Only been going over and above and beyond. Like I just do things that make sense. Job for them running from store to store, picking up little batteries and shit. Right. Stop it. Like, You're holding back a lot and I understand but I know. They gonna have to understand too. Like this, I'm tired of it. Like, like I can exactly show you what y'all literally want from videos. Us, we could probably show you, but then at what cost? Our right. freedom, our integrity, our ancestors mad at us now. Like to now threaten so my job security, security because I'm trying me? to protect myself at I'm night from crackheads. You, so it's like craziness. The, it's the audacity of it all because they were smiling while they were saying it. Any questions? Any questions? They were literally pitting me while also saying shit loud as fuck. Um, it will result in uh, termination. It will result in termination. So many different times. And then how they said what they... Oh, a commissary worker is just... They, they may have seen and we've heard it from they so many... They stole from us. They, like, they stole from us and I confronted them about it. Angry as fuck. I was like, yo, we are literally homeless and you're stealing from us? And then, oh, 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 well, you're not supposed to leave your stuff here anyway. But you can make it so quick. You can come at me so quick about this. But you can't address the issue that I brought to you that I was stolen from. Cam said that he was going to buy me a new umbrella. It's been a month. It's been rain. We've been through rain. We've been rained on since then. Why? Because we don't have that umbrella. Because Only it was stolen from us. We've been here. Literally. Can't even stay for it to get clean. I can't even wash my hair because it takes so long. Like, bro, like, I don't realize how hard we have to go to stay clean. Like, I called out to work today, and let me show you what message shit, I got. It's, let it's me show you. Bro. Let me show you. I almost want to just do it, just because. You can't even nice. see I'll it. I'll be fine in jail, but it's just like. You can't even see it, but basically she's like. Bro. Basically she said, "Hey, I thought you were coming in." <laughs> If you don't take them hours since you wanted them so damn bad, it seemed like. Like, nobody... Uh, like, what did you think happened last night? We just, oh, protection bubble magic. Like, fuck out my face. Let me just leave. I don't know what happened, she money says. We don't even have. She said... We could definitely starve somewhere and that this wasn't, week. And that wasn't even Lori or anybody. That wasn't even a... It was, was some random, random person, person who don't even deserve it. I don't it. even know this person. Like, like who are you? You uh, Sorry, man, I just gotta leave, you know? Um, but basically. You want this shirt? Give me a shirt on that. Yeah. It's kinda itchy. It's just the audacity, and I really hope that this doesn't take away from the seriousness of this because it is very serious, and 
I'm tired of being mistreated by big companies and for us to just have to sit and be like, oh, well, that's big, that's big corporations. But then that's they not come right. outside too, and then there's crackheads, right. there's random people, right. there's mad people in our face. Can you right. have a conversation? Can't, can't even eat? have a conversation. Can't even eat. Can people are mad that we're really eating. What? I'm literally asking this lady for a menu. She looked at me and walked in the back. Dead like ass. Dead ass. Like dead ass. Dead, dead ass, ass, bro. So, Lori. Everybody, the person, I think her name was Dylan. Dylan, all y'all. Gregory specifically. Gregory job, specifically. Bro. Gregory specifically. You're a disgusting person. And this company is gonna go down. Not even bro. just because of me. Yeah, Not even just because of me. All that shit. By the way, I have videos of downstairs. Gregory's Coffee Store 1 is disgusting absolutely abysmal the a they on the window is the fake actions. if <laughs> you if you don't care about the actions right if you don't care that there's rats and roaches in your food then uh, if you don't care about this or the fact that there's rats and roaches then i don't know what you're gonna care about you know just give up. it's just it's ridiculous it's, it's just, absolutely ridiculous and it's disgusting, it's disgusting that we have to deal with it you yeah, don't know what that swelling in our chest feels like and have to Every bite your day. tongue to the point where swallowing you're literally fire. bleeding, swallowing blood, literally bro. Swallowing blood and fire. Like what? So you don't go to jail? Because you absolutely will. Absolutely will. They'll make <laughs> if sure. If you survive that. them just arresting you, they might right. pull up and clap you up on the scene just right. because. Oh look, some right. dark gaze. <laughs> like we are literally. And Lori would love for that to happen. Literally discriminated against everywhere since we've gotten here. Everywhere. There's only been a few people to actually be genuine and nice. And they always end up but, disappearing. No, there's that one lady at the um, post office. Oh, yeah. But Dee Dee, you know. Yeah, Dee Dee's. She, they got her up out of there. And then freaking... I don't even know about Leslie. I don't not even know Leslie. Where. I was talking about um the store. Oh, yeah, Ben. ben. They took Ben out the picture. Like, like I just don't happening? get that. I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get that. I don't get a lot of this shit. I really don't. You could think it's semantics. You could think it is what it is. Man, if you say it's semantics, you need help. You have There's literally money. videos. Of, like, I, I don't... You it's can't even tell. With rats, big rats. I know it doesn't matter that much, but if you know me, you know that my skin does not look like this. I am distressed my hair like i can't do my hair as a female as a woman as a married woman well, you look beautiful to me anyway, like every day ba i understand you know that. that but it's like it's more than that it's i don't know i shouldn't have to feel the way of looking at myself in the mirror like damn who this like damn she looked crazy like that's not right it's not so for Gregory's to act the way that they act about it. And they know it was going crazy last night. They knew that. That junk hit us randomly. We had just got done sparking a Dutch. They're comfortable, cozy at home. That junk hit us with billions of raindrops. Hard, cold, heavy rain. It wasn't even a warning. It was just... Literally. Literally. We were sitting there. We just finished a Dutch everything. Like... Didn't even get a chance. I got the wrong jacket. I'm sorry. You both had it. Oh. So I got through. Oh. But, I mean, there's more. I just want to get this up and out for right now so that you guys can understand where I'm at right now because it, it's really crazy. I, I took the day off just so I could sleep. For that last little, because we literally booked it late last night. We literally and booked it we late. at 11. So. And we, even now, I feel bad because we, you know, just a little bit late leaving. Right. But. It's hard to explain, like, bro. It is, unless you I give us the chance to. Being inside and away from the street. Right. Because it's really wild out there. It's more than wild. It's absolutely outlandish, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. But this is a nice little Airbnb, man. Can't hold This. Fifty something degrees outside. Oh, I thought you was coming to be a shit. Actually, I'm not. 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 I'm
after getting rained on, and you would have got frozen by the right. cold, and then now you got pneumonia. All right, and now, now it's I'm calling out for mad shifts. Now you're confused. Now you're, well, you're oh well. You seem to be calling out an awful lot. We can't, we can't tolerate that. You're a liability. All right. Losing business. Y'all gonna actually lose business now. Now you really are going to lose business. Now you have to find somewhere else to work at. Well, deservingly. If they will. Take you. If they will. If they will. Because they probably don't want that backlash either. Because it's just absolutely disgusting. We couldn't even... I, I mean, I slept peacefully just because, yes, it's a bed, but... I slept peacefully knowing that we literally woke up today and gonna, was going to wake up today. Everything was going to be perfectly fine. Right. And it's not over. Like, I it's not. It's not. But there's still, you know, that sinking feeling. Not like that, not like we're going to fail, but in the sense where it's just like, why do we have to do that? You know? You know what I'm saying? Why do we even have to get Why do we have to do much? that? Why do we have to do that? Why do I have to do it twice? Awesome. Yeah. I have my phone, this phone. I don't got the other phone. Like, I shouldn't have to do this again. I already did it at Target. And that was already a thing. I put that up on Facebook. Like, she was literally too comfortable using that kind of language. So, understand. When I'm made to feel uncomfortable, I'm not going to sit there and eat that to the point where, like, now nah, I look goofy as hell. Got shit all over my face. For what? For what? I can't do that. I can't do that anymore. I'm too old for it. I have too much experience. I want All right, to say thank, thank you, you, Lewis. I mean, I don't know if he's in there or not. Thank you. We know. we love the energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we can play again. <laughs> Me too. But it's just you really can't. Yeah, you can't make this shit up. I thought you were just talking to yourself. No. I didn't know it was still recording when I came back in the room, but I was like, shit, I guess I have more to say. Again, that's just how I'm saying. Like, this is, you can't make this shit up, bro. I mean, people make up a lot. Oh, I have cancer. But come on, bro. Right. Try to make up you walk in a place to get food and they literally don't serve you. Literally turn away from you. Oh, but. your money's no good here. Well, we're out now. There's people that look like you, and they just about as racist as the people who are more just racist. naturally racist. More too. racist because it's personal. It's, it's like personal. you wake up and saw yourself, recognized yourself as a black person, but then you disrespect the next black person. Literally, weird as fuck. Weird as fuck. Weird as fuck, bro. But I think I do. I, I think I've juiced myself out. I don't really got shit else to say. Because it's just going to end up being negative, and I don't want to put that energy out. So I'm going to put this up. And I don't know. It's a lot of baristas out there, bro. Y'all going to the same shit? Yeah, last gonna rise up. All right. Because I know you're not the only one going through it. Because being a barista really is something that I've always loved. So every time it gets thwarted, because of my race, because of who I am, that shit. It's not natural, and you know I'm gonna react to it. But it's alright. I'm so happy that I don't need to do this. But I'm gonna go. Because, um, like I said, I don't got shit else to say. But as a barista, this is, I don't know, a barista calling out saying that, damn, my craft is really turning into a bitter melon. <laughs> And it's not even because of me. It's not even because I'm falling out of love with making coffee, the craft of doing any of that. Because I promise you, I love doing that. Like, I was dreaming one time, my whole shift, about it, working in my own coffee shop. Like, pretending like, you know, it was mine. <laughs> but. I will get there with I know. I just don't want this to happen again to me. Which I know it's not going to. But I don't want it to happen to anyone else either. Because it really hurts, you know. It's fucked up. You don't have to take it. You don't have to be like, oh, well, I'll just get another one. No, you were mistreated. You were, you know, harassed. If you were. If you were. 
speak up for yourself. If you can't do it there, speak up for yourself here. I did it there, but look what happened. And I did it so passively. That's just how toxic these people are. So I did all I could do. And now it's up to us to handle it, you know? But, all right, guys. Have a blessed day. See y'all, man. I got some music dropping for y'all. Pretty much about this. And I can't stress how it's just not fodder. But if you don't want to cry, just don't listen. Because I'm going to make your ass cry. <laughs>